What's going on guys, it's Cliffy here, we are getting a bat, I don't know how long it's going to be for, I think it may just be a couple of balls, yeah it is just a couple of balls, um, so yeah we've kind of struggled a wee bit with the bat today, um, I'm trying to decide where I'm going to go, I'm probably going to go over the leg side maybe, no we'll just let that one go away for a while, I don't know what kind of shot I was trying to play there, but yeah very surprising because normally we do have a very good batting lineup, and with that we do go and pack on the runs, but not today, so uh, we are going to go and basically just try and hit out here and try and get as many runs as we can. And we pick up a six off that first ball. Incredibly. Chris Lynn, don't be bowling in the final over to me, mate. I will just pump you up over your head for six. Oh, no. Oh, I thought that had gone straight to the man, but it's not going to. We are going to come back for the second. Pune are going to score five for 155. We face two balls, score eight runs. Mott more could you want from that six off the first one and you guys get just a little tiny bit of batting there just a little tiny bit you know but very surprising that the top order didn't fire because we normally have a very good top order and that is what has been keeping us going in these games so far Tim and Iqbal only 13 sorry 18 off 30 so that is poor but hopefully we can go and bring it back with the bat we are a very strong batting side so fingers crossed that we can go and get that done there against this KKR side who but KKR didn't make the playoffs. I was going to say they didn't make the playoffs in the IPL. I know Mumbai and Chennai played last night in their game. And Mumbai won that one. So I think Mumbai have gone... Mumbai have had an incredible stretch lately to go and just pick up wins. Like, they have won so many games on the trot. Um, and they are automatically into the final. I think this is the third uh, IPL final that they've made it in. I think they made it in two years ago, in 2013. And I think they made it in in 2010 as well. So, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see who they come up against. Uh, the Double R's, my team, Rajasthan, are playing up against RCB tonight in the, I guess, the Eliminator game, shall we say. Uh, so the winner of that takes on Chennai. And then those two play off. And potentially, what is the semi final to go and get into the grand final? So, um, I must say, we're doing pretty well here against Jacques Callis. Bit of a blast from the past, him playing for KKR. Doesn't play for them uh, this season. I think maybe he's just mentoring them, possibly. I don't know. I haven't seen him around with the squad or heard anything about it. So um, maybe he isn't, but we're bowling pretty well. And that's what we have to do here. We've got to go and pick up wickets. We didn't pick up any last time around. We were economical, yes. But I think today, with the score being what it is, I think we need to go and pick up wickets. Bisla. He's going pretty well. He's 35 off 13, so he is going to be a big wicket to go and try and pick up. So we just, we need some wickets because we didn't pick up any in that last game. And wickets would really cap off a great all-round performance for us, considering we did hit 8 off 2 with the bat. I'm so happy with that. I thought that second ball, though, I thought that was going to go, and I thought it was going to be all over. I didn't think it was going to work well for me. Um, but we really need to go and try and pick up a wicket here. I mean, being economical, yes, is good. But do we have the other bowlers down the other end, the firepower, to go and pick up those wickets if I'm not getting them? That is the question uh, that will have to be answered. But dot balls are good. I mean, we're building up pressure here. It does make things easier. Bizzler's striking pretty well. So, I mean, to keep him to dot balls or even just to ones uh, is pretty good because he is 42 off 19 now. So, as I said, it would be nice to go and pick up his wicket, bring in a new player because that, really is going to make a big difference, especially when they're chasing the score, because this is still this is still like anyone's game, this game here. 87 needed, uh, 86 now off just over 11 overs, so it still very much is in the balance. You pick up a couple of wickets here, a couple good overs, a couple tight overs from the bowling side, um, and, you know, we are straight back in it, as that one goes straight over the top of Jack Callis's, sorry, Jacques Callis's stumps, not Jack. What am I saying? But again, another economical over. No wickets, which is a little bit of a concern. But hey, we've only gone for two. We've gone for three in total in our two overs. Economy rate of 1.5. That is just absolutely incredible. And I guess another good thing, we have kept Jack Callis on strike because he is not striking it as well as Bizzler. So hopefully uh, Kumar can come in and pick up some wickets because wickets are the name of the game, and that's what we need. He didn't pick up any there. As you can see, at pretty similar stages in the innings, but... KKR a lot less wickets down, three less wickets down, uh, so it is going to be a very interesting final 10 overs. What am my player doing? Move to the ball, man. We need to cut down on the singles. We need to cut down on the runs that are being scored. And you're just standing there. What are you doing? What are you doing? 
Right, come on. We need a wicket here, boys. Oh, is that a wee edge? It was a wee edge, I think. Oh, you ripper. That is just what we needed. We picked up the wicket when we needed it. Bizzler, don't even bother reviewing that. Back to the sheds, mate. In comes a new batsman. I actually thought he was going to review it there for a second because he was taking quite a long time uh, to go and and decide it. Chris Lennon now. He'll be looking to go and get a bit of revenge after we went and pumped him for that six first ball. Well, technically we got nine off two, didn't we? Because he rolled a wide first up. Yeah, te technically we got nine off two. We got nine off the two deliveries that we faced. And the, the wide obviously doesn't credit to me, but it does credit to the team. And it could... It could be all important here. Chris Lynn, he looks in good shape. He looks like me when I came out, just smashing those boundaries, then picking up that one. That's what we need. We still need some more wickets, so I think we need to get a couple more, really start to go and get down to that middle order of KKR and let them go and try and do their thing. Because um, I guess KKR this season in the IPL, I guess that maybe could have been a little bit of their weakness. Like they were playing, it did work for them and they were up towards the top of the table for a long time. I think they finished fifth in the end maybe. Um, but it was one of those things where if you got early wickets against them, because of the way their batting lineup was set up, quite often they were only playing four or five specialist batsmen. And don't get me wrong, their strength probably is in their all-rounders. Like they've got a lot of good overseas all-rounders that they can go and play. But it was one of those things that if you got a few early wickets, you know, they were immediately under the pump. And hopefully we can go and do that here today. But we will just have to wait and see. 57 off 48. So it's looking pretty good. This is actually our final over. So we're going to bowl our four on the trot. Hopefully we can go and pick up one. Is that one there must have just shaved off stump. It must have just shaved it. So we really, we really need a wicket and a good over in this last one. We really need a tight over and a wicket to go and try and just, I don't know, we just need to, yeah, we just need some wickets. Just need to be economical, pick up some wickets, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Lately players, they're hitting into gaps, which is unusual because in the first four games, they were just all going straight to the fielders. They were just hitting them straight to the fielders. 100 up for KKR in the 12th over so that is uh normally normally when i talk about scores and past scores in t20 cricket normally i talk about if you add 100 with wickets in hand and about the 12th over you are going to be in pretty good shape to go and chase down or set a relatively good total so again this has been another good over just one coming off it so far one ball left in our spell one for 11 so not the biggest wicket threat today but we have been economical. We have only gone for 11. That is less than three and over. So let's just hope that the other players can go and get it done from the other end. Because that is what we are going to need. We're going to need that done from the other end. Wayne Parnell, hopefully he can come in and pick us up some wickets. But it's looking like KKR are going to be coasting to their victory. Our first loss of the IPO, as you can see there, Chris Lynn and Jack Callis, I think, uh, took them home. Callis actually picking up man of the match for his 61 off 46 deliveries. Chris Lim was in there as well. And in the end, they got there quite comfortably. And I think in the end, not enough runs for the Pune Warriors today was what really went and let us down. But anyway, guys, do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to leave a like. If you are new, please do subscribe. Tune in tomorrow, Virtua Tennis. We are getting towards the very end of the tour there. What's going to happen after the last Grand Slam of the season? I don't know. You guys don't know. Make sure you tune in to find out. Hope you're having a good week, and we'll see you tomorrow.